Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Zach. Here we talk about overlanding, gear, builds, DIY, all sorts of stuff related to modifying your Forerunner. Today, this video is gonna be sponsored by Forerunner Lifestyle. We're gonna be doing a pretty quick mod, but I kinda wanna just show these and ask a couple of questions because these shifter knobs get a lot of hype out there and a lot of guys do them, show off social media content, whatnot. And I wanna just see kind of what all the hype's about because uh, as far as I'm concerned, they're just a cosmetic mod. You don't really need to do this for performance or any sort of benefit. They just look cool and uh, I think they're pretty sweet, but kind of want to figure out like what the hype is and if they're a nice product, that sort of thing. So once we uh, will jump in, we'll do that unboxing here pretty quick, but really big uh, announcement. I've been posting this around a lot of places. I did a community post earlier this week on YouTube, uh, but I am running a 15% off sale with Forerunner Lifestyle right now and that's 15% off literally any item on their website. So uh, whether you're trying to get a supercharger, Dobinson suspension, they sell a bunch of other suspension goodies, you can get bump stops, you can get uh, rooftop tents, you can get Rome cases, you can get C4 armor. Um, there's just so many things. You can get the uh, remote starter that I have, that N2 designs. I've got a uh, mirror that has a front and rear facing camera that I'm gonna be installing here pretty soon and that uh, you also can get from Forerunner Lifestyle. They've got so many things. You could get that anytime front and rear camera. Um, gosh, what else? They sell a bunch of different rim brands, so if you wanna get rims. Uh, there's so many products, Diode Dynamics, Alpha Rex, so many different products that I run. They sell at Forerunner Lifestyle and you can get them 15% off. C4, Dobinson's, uh, Diode Dynamics, all these companies, I haven't seen greater than a 15% off sale on these products ever. Uh, basically, the Black Friday discounts on these brands are around 15%. So this is a really good opportunity to save some good money on modifications. A lot of this stuff is just in stock at their warehouse too. So if you order C4 armor from them, there's a decent chance some of it's in stock and it'll ship right away. It won't even have a lead time. So definitely go check that out. I'll have that all linked down below. And to go hand in hand with that, I actually do build consults. So uh, if you're trying to spec out a vehicle and you're trying to figure out like which modifications I should do first, which brands I should go with, this is what I'm using the vehicle for. So, uh, you know, tell me, Zach, kind of what you think are the right sort of price point modifications to do. Uh, I'm going to kind of help you design the modification layout that you want to do. I've done a lot of research in this area. I've made a lot of videos on this stuff. I know what things are easy to do yourself, what tools you need. I know what companies are typically charging. I know what shops will typically ask you to spend that you don't really need to spend. I know certain things that you really should just take your vehicle to a shop to do. Uh, there's so many kind of like different things here. So if you go check out my link on my website, I typically charge, I think like a hundred an hour or something like that. Uh, but I've also got like 20 to 30 discount codes on a bunch of the products that a lot of people run. So even if you don't want to spend money on the Forerunner Lifestyle discount right now, uh, I probably can get you discounts on other things in the future. And the nice thing is, is like, the thing I tell people is like, yeah, the cost for the build console is there, but if I can help you save some labor somewhere, like typical shops right now charge $150 per hour for labor on any sort of modification install. So if you, for some reason, don't spec out the right products and have to take your vehicle in for another day of work, that's way more expensive than a build console. So hopefully we can kind of tease out all the small little modifications you should do along the way that don't cost a lot of money, but would require a shop to tell you to do them in order for you to not make the mistake of forgetting to put those mods on when you're buying something else. So that offer is out there. So go check those out. I'll have my website linked down below for build consults and I will have the uh, Forerunner Lifestyle discount down below as well. All you gotta do is use the code OVLDENG, my discount code for basically everything and that will save you that 15% off. Like I said, it's on literally every product on their website from superchargers to bump stops. Uh, everything is basically 15% off. So go check that out. And with that being said, let's get to the unboxing. All right, before we get into it too much here, just wanna show you, uh, these are the OEM knobs that I have. I have the TRD Pro Spec, so these are gonna say TRD on them. Well, but just wanted to show you kind of what they look like. I don't know what the SR5 ones look like, uh, but this is what I'll be comparing. We've got the shifter knob here. So if you look kind of inside here, they all have threads. These look to be uh, plastic threads of some kind, but 
hard to see inside of this. Um, so yeah, I've kind of unboxed these already, but these are the boxes they come in. I don't know if Teton Workshop puts them in this like this, but got some nice labels on the top. Boxes aren't anything too fancy. Um, but yeah, so right here is the, kind of see, Teton Workshop. I got the all black ones, but they sell them in a bunch of different colors. And uh, yeah, they're just kind of a cool, a cool modification. Included a little sticker here. Guess we'll check out the directions, but I don't think they're too complicated. Uh, as, as far as I understand, um, inside of here there's threads. So you thread it on fairly tight and then there's this Allen key and this hole on the back. So you put the Allen key in there and you just tighten it down. Um, that's my understanding. And then same with the shifter knob. This is it, got the little labels. This actually will probably be easier to read sitting in the driver's seat. So that's maybe a little bit of a, a bonus over this. Um, so yeah, this is like all the same color and looking straight down. If you have, uh, you know, poor eyesight, maybe this will actually be a lot easier for you to read. Uh, and they're sold, in, they're sold individually. So you don't have to buy them as a whole kit. If you just wanted to buy this one, uh, you can do that. So uh, again, same Allen key on the back here. There's this little screw there put that in. This one you can see a little bit better. I can't tell if those are plastic or aluminum tapped threads, uh, but there's threads on the inside. And then uh, you must just tighten this Allen bolt down for an extra form of locking. Let's just double check these installation instructions, see if there's anything profound in them. Remove stock, stock knobs, okay. Twist on them until it stops. If it isn't facing forward, then it stops. Yeah. So it basically is saying like, don't over tighten these. Cause I think you might just remove the threads inside. So it says if it's not facing forward, when it gets all the way tight, remove it backwards until it's perfectly straight. So, uh, you aren't going to tighten these down with the actual threads. That's more to just keep it on the shaft that it's connecting to, to actually lock it in place will primarily be with this little Allen uh, screw in the back. So, the Allen key is a 332nd, and I might see if I can use a socket. Uh, but a lot of times, and the Sherpa guys have talked about this before, but sometimes using these keys is kind of nice because it has a bit of a built-in torque spec. So uh, when they're this small and you're tightening, you really can only do so tight given the length of this, you know, the torque calculations, the fact that these Allen keys bend. Um, so yeah, they were kind of saying that was something that they liked about actually using one of these rather than a socket Allen key. Uh, because it's got some sort of built-in torque specs. All right, so first we're gonna do this shifter knob, change it to pounds. So 0 .87, 0 0.847 pounds. This one is 0 0.461 pounds. So yeah, it's getting close to double the weight for the shifter knob. And then for this, 0 0.13 pounds. And this, 0 0.34 pounds. So yeah. They're almost double the weight for both of them. They feel really nice in your hand and they're definitely like some kind of metal. Uh, they're machined. They're not like 3D printed or something. Uh, I think on the side here, I'm not quite sure what this is made of, um, but I guess if it ever gets dirty, you can just clean this material. Uh, but yeah, they feel really solid. Um, so like, I like how it is. I like how it feels. And uh, yeah, let's jump out to the car and get it installed. Hey everybody. All right, so we're in here. All we gotta do is put this on thread it down until it's finger tight. There we go. So that's about as tight as I feel like I can really get it. So I'm gonna back it off to where it's gonna be lined up and then tighten down that Allen key. Same with this one here. Start threading it on. Then once it feels tight, I'll tighten that Allen key on the back. Actually feels pretty good right about there. It's so close, but we'll just do it this way. Follow their instructions so I don't ruin this, the threads on the inside. And uh, I don't know if you saw that how I did the last time, but if you loosen it up a little bit, you can put the Allen key in before you gotta like line it up. That worked out pretty well. There we go, just like that. If 
feels feels pretty solid there you have it. Well, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. Thank you so much for watching. It wasn't too long of a video, but I wanted to show you these and I also wanted to tell you about this sale because this sale expires tomorrow, Sunday, Sunday night to be exact. Um, I'm not quite sure which time zone it expires in, so I'd probably get your orders in around like six or seven o'clock just to account for those time zone differences. I think it goes till midnight, but I don't know which time zone, so don't risk it. Um, probably try and get your orders in before like dinner time, uh, Sunday tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, those are kind of, uh, those are the shifter knobs. I think they look pretty sweet. Uh, I'm going to run them. They're kind of a fun cosmetic modification and they feel kind of nice. Go check those out. I'll have every product that I have from Forerunner Lifestyle right now listed down below. Uh, so you could go check out any of those videos and their corresponding products. And uh, I'm also just, you know, going to list that consult link down below if you're wanting to meet with me over Zoom and uh, obviously the 15% uh, off discount with Forerunner Lifestyle. So Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support from all of you. Uh, it's, you know, you guys watching these videos is what allows me to continue to make this content, grow on these social media platforms, and then in turn kind of give back through discounts like these. So uh, yeah, hopefully I can save you all some money and uh, we'll keep clicking on and doing modification videos. Oh, lastly, I did a shop update. Maybe most of you aren't interested in that, but the video is kind of doing horrible, but go check it out. I talk a lot about the tools and other stuff that I use. So uh, yeah, I'll have that link like up here somewhere. Cool. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video.